Hello once again. This time in this recording, I'll be going over your dashboard, which is just your home page or similar to a car. Uh, what you really care about when you're actually driving the car. A lot of times I'll liken Campaign Builder and all the other settings in the system as the engine or transmission in your vehicle. I mean, I'm sure you might love to hit the accelerator and rev that engine and hear it and everything, but the engine itself means very little to you to actually drive the car, the action of driving the car. And, and similar to the driving experience, as I was mentioning, what you care about as you're driving, temperature of your, of your engine, uh, how much fuel you have, even other little things like turning on the AC or turning the music on, that's what you actually care about in using your vehicle. So similarly, we're designing the dashboard to create that experience, regardless of however many campaigns or different cool settings and bells and whistles you may have in your system, our, our product and, and customer service goal is to create this space here so that you can interface with your information in a very actionable way. So I'll start from the top and work my way to the bottom and I'll highlight a little bit of the functionality here. So tasks self-explanatory. You can either see this widget or click on tasks on the left side. Each shows you similar information. You'll notice this checkbox to the left of each task and you'll notice that some have a blue name under them. So these tasks are just general. So this ASD, FASD, FSD, say that five times fast, task isn't currently associated with a contact. This could be like pick up dry cleaning. I'm not really following it with a customer, but some people, some of our customers, employ, or they use their application for personal tasks sometimes too. Uh, some are more relevant to work, but feel free to use this to your heart's content. Regardless, if I'm done with the, the task here, I can just check this box and I'm done. And similar to this one, let's say I finished these three tasks and, and I'm good to go. I do want to show you when you do have a blue name, that means this task is relevant to a contact in your list. Meaning, let's say Amanda, I'm trying to close a deal with her. Uh, meeting with Amanda is super vague. If this was created a month ago, I have no idea what I might even talk about, or I might know vaguely, but there might have been some details I notated last time that are relevant. So I'm going to click on the blue label. You'll notice it takes me to her contact record and with a task here. So meeting with Amanda, for example, I can check the task here, or if I have additional details about the task, I can also see it as well. So I'll go ahead and just mark this as complete, and we're good to go. For now, I just want to show you that you can add tasks from here or at the very bottom of the widget on your dashboard, you'll see this add a task button. Either way, it gives you the option to uh, connect it to a contact. So let's pick on Harry Potter and just say um, send an owl to Sirius Black. And this is due today at 8 during breakfast in the, the common I mean, in the Great Rear Hall. And don't forget to send some butter beer. Whatever, right? Save. So that's good. And you'll see it's due tomorrow. It shows it at the bottom. If for whatever reason this is limited, as you can see this one more tasks icon, I can click View All Tasks, and it shows me the whole list here. So pretty straightforward. Uh, that's how you interface with tasks with your dashboard. The goal here is as you have things to do this day, you can just go through the list and just check them off, uh, very actionable. New context is just more of a visual metric. You currently can't click into this figure to see the whole list, but for the last seven days, these are the, there are 11 new contacts. However, in total contacts, you can, can click on view all contacts to see these 27, just kind of health metrics, some of like those other dashboard things like on your vehicle that are cool to know, but maybe don't really raise a red flag very often. And scrolling down, campaigns, again, are automated processes in Infusionsoft. You might see the word strategy used for this. Things we're automating or things we're following up on more in depth. You can click on this dropdown to select from your various list of currently published campaigns. But these metrics, active contacts, shows you who's currently getting the automation in this campaign. Sorry, highlighted weird. Active contacts here, this first figure. Total contacts all time would be, as it says, during the whole lifetime of this campaign, how many people have seen this. To kind of clarify the difference for active contacts would be, let's say you have uh, an event of sorts or a webinar that people host. Maybe this, this, is the, this Wednesday coming up is eight people, but over time of you hosting the same webinar, there's been 250 people that have showed up. So just to clarify the two icons here, view and edit lets you actually see this campaign 
and make changes to it or see more in-depth reporting on it. For explore campaigns, we've created a lot of different strategies that help for different verticals, which I'll dive more in depth. These are pre-created campaigns with content already provided at least to an extent, just uh, so that you can fill in your product, your, your customer profile and everything. Um, I'll dive more into that later. Again, campaigns, this is the widget here, but you can access campaigns on the left-hand side as well. And I don't think I mentioned it, but contacts is on the left here too. Scrolling down, broadcasts is this widget, or you can see the information on the left. Similar to the campaigns dropdown, I can see email by email of all the email broadcasts I've sent. And to clarify, a broadcast is an email to multiple people that I've sent out. Think of like a monthly newsletter. I type it each month with new information and send it to a set group that's opted into it. That's what this means. How many people received it? One. How many people opened it? How many people clicked? When was it sent? Again, if you need more information, I can click into view broadcast details and it shows me way more information. You can view the body of the email that was actually sent. Let me click out of this at the top left. The subject line to whom it was sent. You have a safe searches or tagged people that you can use from the contacts owner who sent this person, this email and exact, you know, sent delivery time. How did it go? You might see some hard bounces or spam complaints sometimes. Done, we're good to go. When it started, when it ended, how many emails were scheduled, if any emails were skipped. You'll see skipped emails and I'll dive more into that when I go into broadcast, but typically when you have a bad email address or a hard bounce or something, here's all of these here. The little asterisk describes why emails would be skipped. And again, you see all these metrics on how it broke down without delivery. So if I go back to the dashboard, I can here at the bottom, um, continue to other widgets. As you can see, there's some functionality we'll be adding. Streamline your payment process. You'll be able to find out more here and in the future connect uh, to our Infusionsoft payments account to process quotes and invoices manually here as well. And then get leads from Facebook ads. We do have a service for lead generation through Facebook. Uh, feel free to click on that button to learn more, but you'll see those update accordingly as you purchase, uh, purchase, purchase or use that functionality. Anyway, thank you for your time. That's a brief run through of the current uh, version of our dashboard.